Although South Korea's intelligence agency is pointing the finger at Kim Jong-un for his half-brother's killing, Kim Jong-nam's mysterious death has sparked a number of theories, but most experts are saying they believe the North Korean leader was behind the order to have him killed, as our Connie Kim reports. There is no direct evidence yet that the ruthless North Korean leader was behind the death of Kim Jong-nam. But most North Korea experts in Seoul, Washington and Tokyo voice it's mostly certain that the unpredictable leader must have had it done to eliminate a perceived threat. Some say the fact that Kim Jong-nam is in the bloodline could be seen as a threat to the dictator. Entering his sixth year in power, Kim Jong-un appears to be cementing the cult of personality around him. I think it, this is a typical case that all the, the, de, all the despots, tyrannies, tyrants tend to kill their brothers and their in-laws and very you know, kin, kin people around him because they believe this is the only way they can to solidify the very his power base uh, because he feels he's pretty much squeezed and is pressed by all the peoples. Possibly adding to Kim Jong-un's hostility towards his half-brother, Kim Jong-nam had publicly criticized a transfer of power that brought Kim Jong-un to the top of the regime, replacing their father. Another possible motive being discussed is China's protection of Kim Jong-nam in case Kim Jong-un dies. Kim Jong-nam has been China's favorite. The Chinese government has been financially supporting Kim Jong-nam because Beijing looked to him as the next North Korean leader in case an emergency occurs. For Kim Jong-un, eliminating his half-brother favored by Beijing was necessary, especially because he himself did not have good relations with China. In fact, government sources say Kim Jong-nam has been exposed to the threat of attack since March, after China stopped providing as much security to him as it cozied up to the regime in Pyongyang in opposition to the planned deployment of FAD in South Korea. Government sources say another reason for the killing was to prevent Kim Jong-nam from going to South Korea. A source who asked not to be named said Kim Jong-nam had been called back to Pyongyang by the North Korean authorities for various reasons, but did not respond. There are also reports that an attempt by Kim Jong-nam to enter the South led to his murder. The killing has led to questions as to the whereabouts of Kim Jong-nam's surviving family and whether the unpredictable leader's reign of terror will enable him to maintain stability. Connie Kim, Arirang News.